Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here today. I'm holding this up as a microphone because I am at the Louvre right now. Do you see it behind me? And a couple of statues. Um, here to do a book haul. I went to Shakespeare and Company and I picked up five books and two really cool little pieces of merchandise. And so I thought I would sit down and give you a book haul because I got some really cool editions of books and I'm really excited and I wanted to share. And I'm also stepping so far out of my comfort zone because there are so many people walking around and walking by me and watching me do this. So I hope this video is worth it and let's jump in. So Shakespeare and Company is in Paris, France. That's where I'm at right now. Again, the Louvre right there behind me. Statues, fun, flirtiness just excellent, wonderful times. And um, I was really excited to go to Shakespeare and Company. I specifically wanted to find editions of books that I couldn't really find anywhere else, or at least not in America. So there were like a couple UK editions that I really liked. And there's a book in French that I'm really excited to have. So yeah, sorry if this is a awkward microphone situation, but it's what we're working with. Also, I might look exhausted because I'm jet lagged. So let's do this thing. Do we, should we start with books or should we start with merchandise? Let's start with the books because they're more fun. Okay, so the first book that I picked up is just this really cool edition of Phantom of the Opera. This is in English. Only one of these books is in French. Um, but Phantom of the Opera is my book club's June book pick, I believe. And so it says, I am built up on death. And then on the back... It says, I am dying of love. And it's just a really cool addition. I thought it'd be really cool for the book club discussion. My little sister loves Phantom of the Opera. And when I showed this to her, she was so excited. So yeah, I think it's cool and I love it. And I'm really excited about it. Next up, we have a Shakespeare and Company exclusive version of The Hunchback of Notre Dame, which actually Shakespeare and Company is right across the river from The Hunchback. Nope, no, it's from, it's across the street from Notre Dame. Um, not The Hunchback, although maybe if he's in there. Um, but anyway, I thought this was really cool. I've been wanting to read The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I love the movie. Probably not. How the Tale Goes, probably sweetened up a little bit, but nonetheless, very cool addition. We've got a very cool back look. You could even see the prizes in Euro. Isn't that fun? Anyway, oh my God, look. You can see the hunchback up on the top. Do you see him? Well, anyway, it's a Shakespeare and Comedy exclusive, but if you open it up, you can tell it's a Penguin's classic. <laughs> so, um, anyway, very cool. Loving it. Next up, we have a book that, um, you know what? I don't think it's a UK edition. If it is, I've locked out, but it just sounded like a really good fantasy romance type of book. You know, I don't read fantasy very often often, but I saw this cover, read the synopsis, said, you're coming home with me. And that is Once Upon a Broken Heart. I mean, just take a gander at the cover. We love her. We're obsessed with her. Let me read the back to you. For as long as she can remember, Evangeline Fox has believed in happily ever after until she learns that the love of her life is about to marry another and her dreams are shattered. Desperate to stop the wedding and heal her wounded heart, Evangeline strikes a deal with the charismatic but wicked Prince of Hearts, like the card. In exchange for his help, he asks for three kisses to be given at the time and place of his choosing. But after Evangeline's first promised kiss, she learns that bargaining with an immortal is a dangerous game and that the Prince of Hearts wants far more than from her than she has pledged. He has plans for Evangeline, plans that will either end in the greatest happily ever after or the most exquisite tragedy. So, I don't know, I thought it sounded wonderful. This next book is a UK edition of a book, but I've been lusting after this cover. And that is Lauren Groff's The Matrix, or just Matrix, it's not The Matrix, but look at this cover. Are you kidding me? With the gold, with the nuns, it's amazing. And it was blurbed by Britt Bennett, who wrote The Vanishing Half and the Mothers. So 
Oh my God, it sounds so good. Cat Sister talked about this in one of her recent videos uh, in the like mid-life or mid-year freak out, <laughs> mid-life freak out tag. No, mid-year freak out tag. Um, she mentioned this book and this was the cover that they used in the video, but then that was not the cover available in the United States. And I was like, waiting until I find it. And I wasn't even looking for it. And then I found it. Let me read the synopsis. 17-year-old Marie, too wild for courtly life, is thrown to the dogs one, win one winter morning, expelled from the royal court to become the prioress of an abbey. Marie is strong, tall, a giantess. Her elbows and knees stick out ungainly, at first taken aback by a life at the abbey. Marie finds purpose and passion among her mercurial sister. <laughs> I don't know how to say that word, so mom just helped. Yet she deeply misses her secret lover, Cecily and Queen Eleanor. Born lasts in a long line of women warriors and crusaders, women who flew across the countryside with their sword fighting and dagger work, Marie decides to chart a bold, a bold new course for those she now leads and protects. She will bring herself and her sisters out of the darkness into riches and power. That is The Matrix. And then the last book I picked up was such a find. My cousin actually found two of these books in French. And then I was so jealous that she pointed this out to me when we were in Shakespeare and Company. And that is Madeline Miller's Circe, but in French, my friends. Can you see how beautiful it is? I will never be able to read this. You know, never say never, actually. Maybe one day, if I learn how to speak French and read it f fluently, I will be able to read this, but it's this beautiful copy. Unfortunately, they didn't have Song of Achilles. If they did, honey, I would have been bringing home six books. Um, but look, they're even stamped. They're st all the books were stamped by Shakespeare and company. Um, not Shakespeare himself, unfortunately, but <laughs> you know, what can you do? What can you do? Um, Anyway, so very cool edition. It'll just be awesome to have. I can like have it facing outwards on my bookshelf. This pigeon's trying to get weird. Check this out. <laughs> oh man, there's another one. Okay, so it's just a cool edition to have and I'm really stoked that I was able to find this. Well, that my cousin was able to find it for me. So that's the last book I picked up from Shakespeare and Company, but let me show you two really fun pieces of merchandise I picked up. The first one is this hat. Now, I don't have a perfect head for hats. This pigeon's trying to get messed up. Um, so I don't have a perfect head for hats, but when I saw this, I said, this hat's gonna find a way to fit, like Cinderella's slipper, because this, this is mine, okay? My hair's done, so it can't really go on, but this is essentially how it looks, even if my hair's down. <laughs> so she's got a big ass head, okay? But it's just this really cute hat, and I think it's really fun. And then the last piece of merchandise I picked up, of course I had to pick up a tote bag, but it was a matter of which, because there was like four options, and I was like, we gotta pick the coolest one. Um, and I already have so many regular sized ones that I decided to go with this mini cat version. Oh my God, isn't it cool? With the little collar. Oh my God. And it's perfect because it can basically fit the size of a single book. We're gonna use the hunchback version and just slip it right in. And then we've got this perfect book bag, a single book bag though. <laughs> it's for a single book. So it's just this really cute bag. I was really excited when I found it. So yes, that is the haul, my friends. Those are the five books that I picked up at Shakespeare and Company, as well as the hat and the tote that I was able to pick up. So anyway, that's the end of this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the haul. I hope you had fun and I hope to see you the next one. Bye.